Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Proceed. Yesterday was it yesterday? Yesterday was the was happy was a birthday for the president of the Republic of Zambia. Being my own personal president, I know that you are watching and your people are watching. I just want to use the opportunity to say congratulations to you. On behalf of myself, Professor Awan, and all the members of Christ Freedom Ministry and all those that are here today at the House of Power we want to say that we love you so much and we are praying for you you are the best president in, some, in, in Africa and, uh, there is no there is, and, uh, we have a special number for you because join me and sing this guy that I'm telling you, this president that I'm telling you. We have special number for him. Uh, he, he has 10 years to rule Zambia. And after that, we want to come and rule Nigeria. Because the, the president that left Zambia before him, Eddie Galungu, is the same as Buhari. So he has left a lot of, a lot and a lot of things. And this guy is busy now solving it. Is it possible? That within a space of eight months upon taking over power, every citizen in Zambia is having free education. Super. Are they easy? Yes. Is it easy? The best president, if you see him very humble, you know, for me to support a person, I don't just support anyhow. So join me together, we sing happy birthday to the President, His Excellency President Hakanide Chema. Your people are here from Zambia. This Zambia and Nigeria is a family. Yes. So we are here and we want to take this opportunity to sing for you and believe that you have enjoyed your day. Uh, I've just come from one to three, we sing it all together. But those of you at the overflow one, overflow two, by the steps, there are more to you than the most of people that are here today. We want to say that we love you. Let us sing together. One, two, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Let's sing it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Because of the love I have for you, I was going to say how old are you yes, now, sir. but I'm not going to say that because I respect you so yes, much. Yes, sir. And we are expecting you here in Nigeria as well. Africa is one. You have our support 100%. I want to use, there are so many people, you can sit down. There are so many people that have been publishing and writing things. See, one is no longer supporting HHC. I want, how am I going to leave a president that that is not possible. It's not just a president, but it's a family member to me. I'm not going to betray you. I am going to be with you until you finish ruling Zambia for 10 years. And there are so many other people, politicians who are criticizing what has he achieved, what has he done. We are not against critics. Everybody enjoy critics. Critics is what make us great. 
If you are not criticized, you are not doing anything. But don't criticize like a foolish person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have five years to rule, I believe that giving free education, even before one, everybody, I'm telling you, if you go to schools in Zambia, they are full, full to capacity. Because everyone is going to school. Not only that, there are so many things that this young man has achieved. He's a man that does not drink beer. He's a man that does not humanize. He's like me. Clap your hand for Jesus. He's a man of the people. He loves the people. In Africa, not so? In Africa, when you can have a dummy like me, like this, eh? and they make you the president, and also like the way you will be House of Representatives, you will see, give him two weeks. I forgot about that. But that he doesn't sleep. The president is a technocrat. Every night, he's working. What can I do to improve the life of my citizen? I fire at the flats. You need to meet him. You need to meet him. That's why I say, when I tell you, see, one does not lie and he does not joke. When I tell you this is the best president in Zambia, follow the politics in Zambia, you understand. The best president in Africa. No corruption at all. A man that even before he became a president, became the single richest human being. They took him to prison several times. The, the things that he didn't do. He lost the election five good times. And he never gave up. In no position for over 20 years. And he never gave up. He's not just a president, he's a beacon of hope. Sometimes people are going through things, they look at him and say, Ah, if God can do it for this man, if this man can have hope and stay up until this time, God can do it for me. That's why I call him the president of hope. So when you see me celebrating here, I know what I'm doing. Clap your hand for Jesus. And men of God in Zambia, in Nigeria, or in Africa, that are speaking against the president, bloggers that are writing lies against the president, I want to warn you to stop it. You will never touch the anointed and go free. Akai Bethlehem was chosen by the Almighty God to deliver the people. We don't want you to distract him. Before he became a president, all of you were giving prophecies. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. God told you that he's going to lose. I came out and told you that God has chosen him. Even his closest friends, the, the people that the owner turned to it, the people that he lived secret with, they betrayed him the dying minute. I said, if you don't become a president, I'm going to drop the microphone. I will never speak again. Mm. I said, if you, President Taka in the election was rigged, you will work on another guy, say, you can make a good name because I want the politician to be here. They will go. The reason why we're saying it, when they go, they will understand where they are coming from. The reason why politicians go and don't represent the people is because they don't have spiritual people that they fear. That's why they go, they do anything they want because who are they accounting for? But if there is a politician that is saying, ah, prophet, what can I do here? What can you will be afraid to steal because that one there is, is, a, is, a, is a very big politician there. What what is a, is a politician? Since she came, she's been humble, she can't make any step. With us, I see a one, what can I do? The other day, the governor called them. Papa, can I go? When you raise people like this that fears God, when they go, they start fearing. Ha, if I steal now, what will my papa say? If, if they don't have where they are coming from, if they are coming from churches where when they come, you give the microphone, praise the Lord, I will give you one million. Thank God that Siawan does not want anything from anybody. A 
That is you. So no one will come and say, ah, I'm going to give him uh, 20 million so that he's in a lie. So we are celebrating him. We are celebrating the president because he went to prison several times. And I knock at her just like this. Police will go to his house and break his house. The wife is crying. They put him in prison. The worst prison in Zambia. And he never gave up. On the, during the time of campaign, when campaign was going on, every man of God, they turned against him. They started, they started, oh, God told us that he, HH is not going to be the president. God told us his friends started leaving him. At a point where a chairman, the chairman of the party in Nigeria, we call them chairman, Mr. Charles Kakoma, a trusted person in the party, divorced him and ran to the ruling party. Men of God were busy prophesying. Ah, he's not going to win. He's not going. I said, if you don't win this election, I drop my microphone. I don't preach again. Jesus. So now he has won the election. Those men of God that prophesy lie, that say he's not going to win the election. God has chosen Edgar Galungu. They are the same one now that are threatening him with prophecy. God is saying that flag will go down. You are an idiot. Flag will go down in your own home. And, and the president is not really well. What do you want him to do? Is he a magician? PF government destroyed the economy completely. He need time to sit down and fix everything from grassroots. Now so we're here. And the politics are over here. So if I hear him again, well, God told me that the president is not going to finish his tenor. You will never live to finish saying it. You understand Sia One? You know Sia One. I don't I don't talk. When I tell you that something is going to happen, that is exactly what is going to happen. You men and women of God, when you prophesy and your prophecy does not come to pass, it means you are a fake prophet. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says, how, how are we going to know? He said, when what they spoke never come to pass. If what you spoke, you spoke that he's going to lose the election and he won the election, you are supposed to be ashamed of yourself. And leave the man alone. Leave him. You are supposed to get. If, if it was me, I prophesied that uh, this HH was going to win and he loses. I will stop prophesying. I will hide. Shame will catch me. But this one, see, shame, shame is not catching them. They are still talking. Every day, President HH this. Every day, President HH that. Every day, President HH this. You forgot what he has inherited. He has inherited a rotten government. If you love him, pray for him. If I hear, if you open your mouth again, whether there is one sick one in Lagos, I don't know if they call him Isaac or what, and others who are prophesying rubbish, who deceive Neligan, Edigalung, you are prophesying rubbish about the president. If I hear it again on this altar, I swear upon God Father, if you live seven days, then you know that I'm not seeing one. I'm telling you. So, let us give him peace. Let us give him chance. Let us give him opportunity. MMD ruled for 20 years. PF ruled for 10 years. This guy is not even one year in power and you are agitating. You are going to die before your time because nothing is going to happen. If, if something has to happen to him, where will I be? of power <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah So I want to say that I love you His Excellency The church love you Please put camera on the overflow One down there Overflow wave your hands and say We love you Mr. President I didn't hear your voice from there. Put the camera and overflow too. Say 
say we love you, Mr. President. The people at the state and people in so many places, you can join us inside and wave our hands and say, President, we love you. We say we love you. We wish you we happy birthday. Very, very, many happy returns. President. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.